Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood. We're getting another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how I keep uh, two different species of wood separated while splitting. This is what I just split. Took me about uh, 45 minutes. It is almost all ash. There is a few pieces of elm in there too. This is one of the three truck, uh, Dakota truckloads that Mike brought me when he worked on Tuesday. And I just went ahead and split it on here just so you can kind of see how much I get per Dakota truckload. I would estimate that I would get, for every three Dakota truckloads he'd get, brings me, I know I get at least two oversized truckload and then somewhere between like a quarter and maybe a half, half truckload. All depends on how tight he picks it, uh, uh, packs it in there and stacks it. There might be a few pieces of limb wood in there that came on this load. And then I'm going to split this uh, elm that I got from my other log supplier, Tom, last week. This is all that's left of it. This uh, elm, I, I don't know, it's so big. I think towards the center it might be still a little bit green or wet. It needs some time to dry, so that's why I decided to do it this way. So I got all that in the front. This is going to a campground. This is the first of two that they're going to be getting tomorrow. And... Uh, I just wanted to get it loaded up today, but when I unload it, I'll back up and then I'll, I'll stack it. And then that stuff will be unloaded first and be on the bottom. So it'll give it more time to dry. So that's just the one trick that I do to, uh, you know, keep, keep orders going out instead of giving somebody, keep giving all my hundred percent dry stuff. And then I have no dry stuff, you know, if they get like maybe a quarter of truckload and I put it on the bottom, you know, of the stack. And then by the time they get to it, it it'll be 100% ready. Let me get this set up here. I'm going with this high angle today, so I had to use the uh, step ladder. I think that's a pretty good angle. And I think the lighting looks pretty good. So if you're uh, wondering why I am wearing the same clothes as yesterday, it's because yesterday is t today, or today is yesterday. Right now it's Thursday. I just got done unloading that wood um, at my customer, customer in Texas Corners, and I came back here, and then I won't be publishing this video until Friday night. So this will be your uh, date night video. You can watch with your significant other. And uh, instead of loading two videos on uh, Friday, or I mean Thursday, I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow, my tomorrow, your today, and uh, upload this. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome back everybody that's always my loyal people. You guys know who you are. Don't have time to do sh shout outs right now, but uh, make all firewood videos. I try to do daily videos. I've been doing it for the last, I think, 52 days. It's ever since my uh, original channel was stolen and a lot of people still keep trickling in. Um, and when you come in, check out my other 50 videos, you know, that, that you missed that I wasn't able to make. Um, I'm probably still, I, I got my channel back, but it's listed as uh, suspended. So I got to wait for a review, which might take like six weeks to do. So um, I had a, had a message for, oh yeah, one other thing that I was going to say. I, yeah, I run a group called Firewood Sellers on Facebook. If you come to that. Uh, I'll let you in. You just got to answer the security questions. And we, it was a bunch of guys around the world that uh, talk firewood. And um, I, I've been having a lot of guys on there, you know, question me because, you know, like this load, once it's full, I got to deliver it 22 miles away. I'm getting $160. And that's bef uh, before I raise my price, which goes October 1st. Then it's going to cost them $185. So, um, <laughs> There's there's not a shortage. You can see there's not a shortage of trees and or you know around here. There's wood everywhere. Tree guys that do it. What there is a shortage of is is young men under the age of 40 willing to do hard ass work. You know hard physical work. You can make good money at it. You know if you learn how to run a chainsaw, it's, there's good pay. But I, and I'm going to be generous. I think maybe 20 percent or. Uh, 80% of, of millennial men are not willing to do this work. It's probably more like 
but you know so it's hard to find people that are willing to help me out and do it so the all the um the baby boomers around here get too old to do it you know i'll be 50 in about three weeks and and i feel I, you know after i split this i'm gonna be done for the day i can only handle it for like three four hours a day of doing the hard work you know and cutting's even harder so that that's the problem and so i just you know everybody keeps calling me and saying oh my guy doesn't do it anymore my guy doesn't do it anymore and I'm, well i was only paying paying you know 150 cord to deliver i go well that's not my problem i'm paying you know 150 a cord for blocks delivered so you know i gotta make money on that so it's like like i say people cry about the price i go i don't want to hear it don't want to hear it you're living in the 80s it's not 1980 